Okay guys, this is the hood I was telling y'all about I got on Facebook for $30. It's pretty straight. Looks like it might have a little bit of a dent right there, but right here is the, this is the big problem right here. And this metal is so flimsy on these hoods, it's gonna be hard for me to work this. But I'm gonna give it my best shot. Man, this hood is a lot worse than I thought it was. I almost abandoned it to get me another one. I've still got to do some more bondoing back here. But I think I can make it nice. But man, it's gonna be a lot of work. I wouldn't count on all this body filter having to be in the hood. It's a thin layer, but still it was, something had fallen on it or something in several different places. It wasn't hell, it was bigger dents than that. But anyway, I want to get back to sanding. All right, I got the body work done. Quite a bit of it, but it looks pretty good. And my next step will be putting some uh, 2K primer on it. Uh, I'm going to be putting this right here on it. So it's got the hardener that goes in it. That's Marhide. It's a really good primer and it's uh, kind of a khaki color so next step will be priming and then I'll be blocking it All right, we're fixing to prime this thing. My brother showed up down here and I wanna let him spray the primer for me. I had to do a little more body work today when I got back down here. So he's gonna be spraying the primer for me. Then I'll start the fender the next time we're down here.
All right, we're getting ready to primer the fenders. Gonna reprimer the hood again. As you can see, when I blocked the hood, I didn't pay much attention back on the back because I thought it was good and straight, but you can tell it's got a lot more Bondo back there now. So pretty much the whole hood has been skinned with Bondo. There's Bondo under the uh, 2K primer and there's Bondo on top of it. Uh, the Bondo I'm using is it's a uh, Rage Ultra and it's made to put on top of a painted surfaces if it has a hardener in it. So there's no problem there. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna put some primer on this and then everything is, is good and flat now. I, I blocked the whole hood and found this other. You can tell how warped up it was where you can start seeing where it got thin. But anyway, this hood was rough. I did not know it. I would not have purchased it but I'm too far in now to let it go. So we'll get the primer.
this video. Uh, next week I will be starting on parts on the Jeep. I will have to take off the Jeep, like the doors and the tailgate and uh, all that good stuff. So this is my last week of being able to drive the Jeep before the Jeep is going to have its paint job on it. So once I get to taking everything off, I can't drive it to work anymore. So y'all come back next week and we'll see what we got going. And uh, I should have some more uh, body work done on the Jeep and be priming some more parts. And I'm going to try to uh, paint all the external parts or the parts I have taken off, uh, like the hood and the fenders and the doors and the tailgate and the windshield frame. I will paint all those at one time and then I'll paint the tub by itself. So if y'all liked the video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's going to help the channel out a lot. I have recently went over 1,000 subscribers, and it's all thanks to you guys. So y'all come back, and I'll see you next week.